I'm telling you again, and I'm telling you for the last time. Forget about hanging that damn laundry and fix my breakfast like I told you. <laughs> all right, all right, Ace, just don't hit me again. Well, if you did what you was told, I wouldn't have to. It was awful late again last night when you got in. What of it? Well, nothing. It'd just be nice sometime if you could spend as much time with me as you do with your drinking buddies. Isn't it enough that I married you? As you say. Besides, it's a sorry state when a man can't come and go as he pleases. That's not what I meant. All I meant was that. Look, I married you, all right. I knocked you up, I did the right thing, and I stood by you. Don't blame me, because you lost that little bastard. And what if I hadn't? Would things be any better between us? I wasn't just marrying a father of my baby, Ace. I thought I was marrying a husband as well. Well, you thought wrong. Why does it have to be this way? What way? You and me always fighting. How the hell do I know? Well, you better get washed up while I fix your vittles. Jim doesn't like you showing up late to work again. The fuck is Jim like to do, Eve? You tell me that. We're brothers. I'll do whatever the hell I like. Well, maybe at home, but Jim doesn't like you being late. Jim, Jim, Jim! Don't you ever get tired of saying that name? So is that why you're so fired keen to send me off to work today? So Jim could pay a little call of his own. Don't talk crazy, Jim's family. Well, as much family as any of you Lockhart's are likely to be. You don't like this family, Eve? You walk! Damn you. Running late again today. Are you, Ace? It was a late night. Yeah. I can see that. Smell like a drunk Indian. How much you lose again last night? I'll get it all back from those cheating bastards. Me and Carl have got ourselves a plan. Is that a fact? You smart enough, brother, and get a grip. Now you remember, we got this town lined up just the way we want it. These folks, they can take a lot. They can only take so much. You got that? So don't you dare go queering for us. I ain't likely to do that. But best not. Now get dressed proper and get to work. 
Grab a jacket. There's a storm rolling in. Don't sweat it, Ace. He don't mean half of what he says. He is right about one thing. There are times we have to tread light around here. He's just looking out for us brothers. I don't need no one looking out for me. Look out for myself. That may be so, brother. But you might want to think about turning your shirt the right way around before you head to the streets. Do you still want some breakfast? Keep it! You see my damn hat and jacket? It's most likely where you threw it down last night. I will swing for you one of these days. You talk to me like that again. If you're gonna walk, walk. If not, I'll see you tonight. Good morning, Miss Tucker. Oh, Eve. Eve, that eye of yours looks awful sore. It was awful silly of me. I was reaching up on a high shelf and... Yes, yes, of course you were. How long are you gonna let him get away with this, Eve? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, honey, you can talk to me. I don't see as I can do anything. You could leave him. He says I can go anytime I like. But I know we never stand for. No, then Lockhart's. There's a lot of things they'd never stand for. But one of these days. One of these days, what? One of these days, the men folk of this town will decide they're tired of being pushed around. One day soon, I hope. And for all I hear, it will be. I've got to go. Give me a beer.
Where is everyone? It's the middle of the morning, kid. All the decent folks are working. Well, even so, I've seen livelier cemeteries. Brings you to Vermijo anyway. Passing through. Two? That any of your business, mister? Well, that all depends on the answer I get now. Rojas. Satisfied. <laughs> Got a familiar look, kid. I've seen you before, haven't I? Doubt that. You got any papers out on you? You mean am I wanted? No, sir. Suppose you wouldn't tell me if you was, would you? Listen, mister. I don't know you from Adam. But I sure don't like the idea of you calling me a liar. Be told, will ya? I don't know you. You don't know me. I ain't got no paper on me. Well now. You know something, kid? I like to think otherwise. What's your name, kid? Your real name. You go to hell. Tough hombre, huh? Well, I could be pretty tough myself. I don't know what your problem is, but I don't want no trouble, you hear? Well, I could give a good goddamn what you want. I do know for sure is what you're gonna get. You're coming with me, boy. What the hell is your problem? All I want to do is have a drink, then I'm passing on. I got a powerful problem with pissant drifters like yourself. Always have, always will. Well, do that again. I'm gonna. You're gonna what? Oh boy, you should not have done that. Look, you're drunk, mister. You go sleep it off someplace. Okay. Easy. No need for that. You get your hand away from that smoke wagon. You take one more step, boy. And I will drill you from belly to backbone. Look, I'm getting out of here. Let that be the end of it. Now one more step. Damn. Better get out of here quick, kid. What? You better make tracks, boy. That was Ace Lockhart you just killed. It was self-defense. He drew on me. You saw that. I didn't see anything. I was checking my stock. I... Who the hell's Ace Lockhart? Jim Lockhart's brother. One of them, anyway. I only see what the lock trucks want me to see. You get it? Now just go.
That storm missed us. Who's out there? Come ahead and welcome. You got a mine, too? Boy, I'm right here. How you doing? Okay, I guess. Well, from the looks of it, you look like hell. I don't know. I managed to find you. How'd you know how to do that anyhow? I thought you had headed straight for the ranch. That was the plan. Lost my horse. Got caught up in that storm. Nearly killed me. I knew I wouldn't have the strength to make it back to the ranch. I figured I'd come up here. Only other place I knew would be safe. <laughs> Remember all them times we used to come up here hunting, did you? Now you struck it lucky. From the looks of it, that's the only luck I've seen you have. Bet you're wondering where I'm here. Must say I am a mite curious, but... Grandson I ain't seen in God knows how long suddenly shows up, rode hard, put away wet. I guess you'll tell me when you have a mind to. How about I fix you up some bacon and beans? You look like you're starving. Then you can tell me. You by chance didn't bring anybody with you there, did you, Luke? Where are they? Out amongst the rocks. Take cover. You know you're in there, kid. Still wearing your old man's spurs, I see. Ain't bring you any more luck than they brought him. We found your horse way back. Ran that animal into the ground, didn't you? You got something to tell me? Now be a good time, boy. Now you come on out. All peaceful like, you hear? You got it all wrong, Sheriff. As your brother who started it, I just acted in self-defense. That ain't gonna wash, you yellow belly! The hell you say? Your brother drew on me. I shot him down fair and square. I didn't mean to kill him, that's just the way it happened. I don't know what this is all about, Sheriff. It's my grandson you're trying to arrest. And he's in no fit state to travel anywhere. Well, I'm right sorry to hear that, whoever you are. But by the sound of it, your boy's a damn sight better shape than my brother Ace. It was four days ago. A man picked a fight with me in a saloon in a town called Vermijo. Turns out he's the sheriff's brother, Ace Lockhart, one of his deputies. I've been on the run ever since. Well, foot since my horse gave out on me. Hmm, Lockhart, you say? I don't remember that name in my peacekeeping days. You sure that's the way it went down, Luke? Grandpa, I've been on the trail a long time, and I admit there's things I ain't proud of. But I swear to God, that's the way it happened. He was drunk, spoiling for a fight. I didn't even know he was a deputy till after I'd shot him. This happened in a saloon? Yeah. Any witnesses? Bartender must have heard it, but he claims he didn't see nothing. Yeah, but boy, you just don't do anything half, just like your old man. 
Let's go out there and see what they want. And put that damn iron away. Looks like it's caused us enough grief. All right, now listen here, mister. We ain't got all day. Send out that kid, and we'll make sure he gets a fair shake. You ain't planning on throwing your lot in with this here yellow belly. That's for the courts to decide. Yeah? How long do you reckon it'll take a jury to find him a killer after he shot a man who hadn't gotten a chance to shoot his own gun? That's a damn lie! The hell it is! I've known my brother Ace my whole life, and he's always kept five rounds in his piece. Left his hammer to rest on an empty chamber. When I checked his body that day, boy, all five rounds were left in that wheel. Listen here, Lockhart. Might be the way you say it is, might not. I just want to make sure this boy gets a fair trial, that's all. He will? He'll get that. This ain't your neck of the woods, Lockhart. A little out of your territory. The hell I am! This here bad lets me make my own territory. Listen here, Lockhart, because I don't chew my cabbage twice. You go on back to where you came from. I'll take the boy down to Powderhorn there. Marshal, hold on to him. That way you can get papers signed by a judge. Make it all legal and such. We got an escort we can trust. He's saying I can't be trusted. That's exactly what I'm saying. Now turn tail and get out. Damn it, Carl! Settle down. All right, Jed, shackles. Cuff him, Carl. You're gonna pay for what you did to my brother, you dirty, mean son of a bitch. All right, enough. Don't want to kill him. Too soon. Well, that ought to take some of the vinegar out of him. Ricky. Orton. Up or you get dragged, killer. Out of here, Carl. Ground's too flat. Maybe over there. Hell yeah. All right.
Carl, cut it out. Say target practice. Nice work. Strangle him here, Ricky. You got a noose waiting for him back in the room. Something on your mind, Carl? Nice set of hooks. Too good for the likes of him. Just take them. We always do.
Wake up, kid. This ain't a flop house. There'll be no rest for you. Not yet, anyway. Tomorrow, though, I reckon, once Carl gets a chance to tie that nice new rope to the gallows. I didn't mean to kill your brother Lockhart. He asked for it. The hell he did. No man asked for a bullet. Although you're probably not the first one that wanted to squeeze some lead into it. How many times do I have to tell you? He was drunk and spoiling for a fight. He had his gun out and he was fixing to shoot me when I drew iron on him. Asked the bartender, he was there. <laughs> Miller. That waste of space? Says he didn't see a damn thing. Nobody for sure as hell heard what happened. You ask him again. That ain't gonna bring my brother back. Neither will hanging me. <sighs> no. But it'll make me feel a damn sight better about it. Besides. What? Nothing. Sheriff. I'm telling you, it was a fair fight. He shot, I shot back. He missed, and I didn't. Well, you tell me this since you think you're so goddamn smart. How does a man who carries five rounds in his piece fire a shot and still have all five rounds in his chamber after you kill him? I ain't got an answer for that. That's right, you don't. I know one thing, though. There was a shot when he came after me. His, then mine. Two shots. Clears glass. Fine day for a hanging, Jim. You hear that, kid? Ain't nothing gonna rain on your parade today. Is that how you do things around here, Lockhart? No judge, no jury. Just you deciding who lives, who dies, and why. Pretty much. And the locals, they let you get away with that. Pretty much. I don't understand them. You don't have to, Tyler. I don't understand any of this. If you wanted to settle with me, why didn't you do it out on the trail? No witnesses to see you do it. Why fetch me all the way here just to hang me? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Tyler, it's like this. When we first came here, 
This place is like hell without the flames. Needed somebody to put a bridle on it. And that's what we did. Now we got ourselves a nice, quiet little town. But these folks here, they got short memories. When things get quiet, they don't think they need the law no more. So they just gotta learn. Learn what? This here's my town now. They hired me and my brothers when they needed us, and I will be damned if I let them fire us just because they figure otherwise. So I keep them in line, make sure they behave themselves. And if they cross us, there's hell to pay. And I crossed you, is that it? For defending myself when your brother drew on me! You got it in one, kid. So hanging me isn't much for what I did to Ace. It's meant to be an example for everyone else. That's what you nearly let slip the other day. <sighs> Down's people been mighty uppity late. Needed to teach them a lesson. Make sure they remember. Keep them in line. You know, Ace may not have been the best brother a man could ask for. But it strikes me that you might just do me more good dead than you ever did alive. Carl, keep an eye on things here. I'm gonna get some breakfast. Be back directly. Get your foot off the damn desk. outhouse. Shit scared, are you? Well, I bet you are. Tubby get doll. Tight and quivery. Just let me use the damn outhouse. Nope. Doesn't the condemned man get one last final request? This is for me, ho. Forget it. Too bad. Wouldn't want to ruin your brother's big show by messing my britches at the last minute. Try nothing, Tyler. If you do, I'll shoot you. But that won't save you from a hang. I'll make sure to wound and not kill. Step back. Come on out. Slow.
You're a slippery son of a bitch, ain't you, Tyler? I'll be taking that. You almost made it, boy. But almost as good as you're gonna get. Get him. Let me at him. Nope. You're in them bruises fair and square for being stupid. Maybe that'll teach you not to give anyone a chance. Besides, I got a chore for you. Make it an easy one, Jim. I can barely walk. Yeah. Go outside. Gather the townspeople, make sure nobody misses the hang. Remember, no guns but ours. If that I can do. I have no intention on missing much hanging myself. We ain't open for business yet. I'm not here to drink. I'm here for some straight talk. It's gonna be all nice and pretty for your big day. Ain't you, Tyler? Jim? Hey, Jim, how do you tie this? Don't you know how to tie a damn dally? Hurry it up, take him out. Where did you come from? Thought we left you for dead. Thought I left myself for dead till I woke up. Then I realized the bullet went clean through me. Left me sore as hell and mad in a wet hand. Best you be on your way. Lest you wind up with your boy down there in hell. No, it's over, Lockhart. Whatever hold you had on this town, these town folks had enough. Is that a fact? What do you know of it? Been here all morning, Sheriff. Been learning, listening, talking to folk around town here about the way you and your brothers run this here town. And you do run it, don't you? What's that supposed to mean? It means you've been demanding and asking for protection money from these here good folks ever since you got here. Even when there's nothing to protect them from except you and your kin. And when a man tries to go get word, he disappears and never heard from again. Man tries to get word to the state's governor's office about the way you run things around here. His house burns down or his business burns for no good reason. Heard a lot from a man who's only been in town for a few hours. I've heard enough to know what I'm talking about. Well, then you know that me and my brothers put a bridle on a dozen hell towns before we came here. And just the same, we risk life and limb to make Vermijo a safe place to live in. Because that's what the town council wanted. Sure. You started out straight, then somewhere along the line you got lazy, you got greedy. And like you, you got a chip on your shoulders, and then somebody had to pay. Oh, I've made Vermijo pay right enough. Pay what's earned. I've put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this here town, old man. But more important, I've taught these people a lesson that they needed to learn. They can't just call us in here to fight their own fights for them and then send us away when our purpose is served. 
I've bled for these people. And I'm gonna make sure that they respect that. You can dress it any way you want to, Lockhart. I'm gonna give you the straight of it. I don't give a damn what you were or where you came from. It's what you are right now that matters. What you are right now is the worst kind of scum. A lawman gone bad. And that goes for your brothers there too. And who the hell are you to tell me that? Former United States Marshal, Frank Tyler. I'm the man your brother there left for dead. I'm the man whose grandson you figure on hanging. But most of all, Lockhart, I'm the man that's gonna burn you down. An old man like you? Unlikely. Don't do it, Jim. That down, girl. Your family. I might have made the mistake of Marinese, but I'm no kin of yours. You used to be a good man, Jim. I know you did good for this town, good for your brothers and good for me. But you changed somewhere. What happened? You have turned rotten to the core. You, Ace, Carl. You've bullied this town every chance you get. And bled it dry with all your so-called taxes. It's like that man there said. You're rotten to the core, all you Lockhearts. You take our money and you punish us if we don't pay. And now you want to hang this boy here to keep us in line. Well, there's something you don't know, Jim. He didn't kill Ace. I did. The morning Ace died, he beat me for the last time. I'd taken it and taken it. And all at once I told myself I wasn't going to take it no more. Ace was no husband to me. He beat me because that's the only way he knew he could keep me in my place. Just like the three of you together. Beat this town every chance you get to keep us in our place. Well, that wasn't going to happen anymore, Jim Lockhart. No more. You didn't. I made up my mind I was going to fix Ace for good. You want to know the real truth of it, Jim? The minute this here boy went into that saloon, he almost saved Ace's life. Because I knew I couldn't do it. I couldn't murder anyone in cold blood. Not even someone like Ace, who truly deserved it. Then he went and picked a fight with this here boy. And when he drew iron, I just... I couldn't let him do it. So I shot him. I shot him like the dog he was. So that's the way it was, is it? Looks like I'm gonna hang me a woman today. You're not gonna cheat the rope today, Eve. Not after what you did to Ace. Carl. Damn it, Carl! Damn. Jimmy's getting loose. Worry about it, we can... Eve. 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 All right, mister. You want to come in here talking like a big ass law man? Let's settle this like men. You stay with us, do you hear? You stay with us. Yeah, come on, give me that shot. Get the, get the. 
I need to let that noose go to waste. You don't have the guts. Tell you, Carl, when a man puts up with a belly full of your treatment, he'll find the guts. about this, Grandpa? Sure, I'm sure. It's mighty lonely up at the cabin there. Give you time to heal up and until you're ready to ride on again. Well, I don't know. All I've ever brought you is trouble. I'll be straight with you. I've ridden with some pretty poor company in the past. Well, I'm sure you have, boy. But I reckon you're riding with the best now. I reckon I am. You know what? Maybe we could do a little hunting, just like we used to. Maybe we could do a little hunting. Just like we used to, sure. You know, maybe I shouldn't feel as sorry as I do for Ace's widow. It's because of her they figured to hang me. Well, look at it this way. If she hadn't done what she'd done, Ace would have stopped your clock. Besides, I know you couldn't have done it. Why not? You never could shoot with a damn boy. Well, I'll tell you this much for nothing. I am to make the most of my second chance. Well, and Eve, once her shoulder heals up, I hope she does the same. I'm sure she will. Seems to me there's enough town folk around here willing to help her out. Yep. Let's go, Grandpa. <laughs> Come on, boy. Let's go home. 